there everybody, this is Caitlin here and today we are back for another Card Game Tuesday, the day of the week where we normally discuss any kind of card game glitch shenanigans in terms of deck profiles, news in terms of card games and other booster box openings and things like that. But this week I wanted to discuss um, an important piece of information that came out I think it was just at the start of last week that I never got really the chance to cover last week because um, we were doing the Pokemon box opening for Arceus. But some news, big news dropped about Force of Will, which um, I've actually got my little laptop up here so that I can read it properly so I don't get anything wrong. There's been a major change that's going to happen to the news. Uh, the news? The rules. There's news on the rules is what I'm trying to say. On the rules of the game. So like there's going to be a a couple of fundamental changes that will be happening. I think they are beginning to happen as of... Um, I think as of Lapis Cluster, these rules will be in effect. So I don't know in terms of current AGPs or tournaments that are going on around the world right now. I don't know whether it's going to affect them. But here's basically the statement. The statement is mainly to do with um, J rulers... Um, as well as some of the renaming of some of keywords that are in the card game, as well as like a couple of changes in terms of jewel stones. So here's like the first major thing that we had here in terms of um, judgments in terms of J rulers. Now, as it was before, um, when you judgmented, so if you're maybe not as familiar with the game, when you flipped your ruler over to its J ruler side, it be entered the field as its own entity. But when the J ruler is killed, what would normally happen is that it would flip back over to the ruler side, it would become an astral ruler and basically it would lose all its abilities it would no longer be able to judgment again if you like you weren't able to save it through imperishable or something like that so it would lose all abilities and it would the only thing that you could basically use it for was to call a like tap it to call a stone and um that's basically all it would be used for so basically um this meant that it harmed a lot of things like such as um uh, I think the main kicker was Reflect Refrain because obviously their thing is free. Anyway, so if you did manage to somehow kill Reflect Refrain, you wouldn't be able to get any of its abilities because it'd be an Astral Ruler. Obviously, this would affect stuff that, say, um, I'm trying to think, like Kaguya's uh, like, effects or like Sylvia's in order to like spend different colour wills. Um, I think it also affected Shion's um, ability to look at the top card of your deck. So it affected a lot of rulers um, like when they flip back over and become Astral Rulers. So... Like there, um, Force of All came out and said, oh, these are the new rule changes that we've made. So in terms of judgmenting, they've said um, what happens when, uh, as of these new rules, when a J ruler is destroyed, um, it will no longer become an astral ruler. They're basically removing the actual concept of astral rulers from the game. What will happen now is that the ruler will flip back over. It will not be able to judgment again, but it will still keep its effects. So basically, things like Reflect, Refrain, Shion, blah, 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 they will still keep their normal ruler uh, effects that they have on their ruler side. It just means that they can't judgment again if you didn't manage to give them Imperishable or save them or blah, blah, blah. So that was like the first major change. And they said that... Um, they put this in place because they felt like a lot of people were not, like, they were too scared to judgment. I think mainly this came out because of, obviously, Black Moonbeam, which is, like, an OP dark card that came out in the last set there, um, which basically, you know, killed your J-Ruler and you couldn't chase it. And I think the only thing that could actually um, stop it was Wind Seclude Refuge. And that was basically the only card that would be able to stop it. I don't even think giving Imperishable saves it in that regard because surely that's entering the chase and blah, blah, blah. But, um... Yeah, so that, like I think that's why a lot of people were too afraid to deactivate and or slash judgment. Uh, so that's uh, one of the new things that's had uh, happened. As well as that, um, they've also obviously, if you've seen any of the spoilers, they've altered some of the card designs. So now the attack and defense is on the side, and they've kind of messed up the text and the blah blah blah. And it does look quite weird. I'm not quite the biggest fan of it. I know a lot of people were complaining like hardcore about it. The only thing I really don't like in terms of um, the new style of the cards, I don't like how they design the, the the ruler cards. Like before, it was quite obvious when a card was a ruler because you know it was such a unique style to like the other cards. But now they've made the rulers look practically like resonator cards, so they don't really look all that different. Which is my real gripe about them because now it just like feels like it's hard to differentiate between them. But you know you. That's what we're going to get now. So um, the only other thing I think that I wanted to say was they're cleaning up um, the word net, like... These, they call this needless wordiness to make the game more accessible. That's what they, they're saying because I'm reading it from the website, if you couldn't tell. Um, so, oh no, I'm entering tablet mode in my thing. No, that's bad. So one of the things that they've, they've changed is target attack is now going to be called precision, which... I don't know how that's meant to make it easier. Surely target attack explains 
the whole gist of it, even though I do get confused with target attack sometimes as well. So what they've said is one of the most common questions new players have is, does target attack target? And so they've changed the ability to precision to eliminate this issue. Which, surely precision doesn't actually imply um, whether or not you're targeting or blah blah blah, but I digress, they've changed that. They've also changed the spell chant and addition wording. Uh, has no, it has not reduced the number of card type options, only reduced cumbersome terminology. So basically, um, spell chant instants are not called that anymore. Basically you've got just normal spells, and if they happen to have quick cast, which is an ability normally resonators have, then it's essentially the same as having a spell chant instant. So you will have a spell, and it will have quick cast to tell you this is an instant one. And I think I, by, from looking at the art of some of the spell chant instants that we've had, it seems as if the mana cost is like surrounded by lightning bolts, as if to say, oh, you can play this on your opponent's turn, by the way. So that's like a highlighter to show you um, where, like when you can use those cards, which you know is kind of cool. Um, they've all I think they've changed um, how additions work as well. So before, um, you would additions essentially were like you know you could equip them to your resonators and blah 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 or your J rulers if you got those kind of things you would equip them and then when your say the resonator with the equipped addition would die that addition unless it had some terminology said when it goes to the graveyard put it back in your hand that would also go to the graveyard but um i think they've also changed additions so that um they may appear more like as if they were regalia so they would sit on your field and then you could pay to best i think the term not now coining now is bestow so now it's like, oh, you can bestow this thing onto a resonator this turn. I've not really kind of looked into how exactly that's going to work because the wording of it was a little confusing. So and people who play Magic seem to have a better understanding of it than I do. I've never played Magic, so I don't really know the mechanics of it. But it seems that this is a borrowed mechanic from uh, Ma uh, Magic Gathering. So maybe I can understand it a bit more if maybe someone explains it properly to me. But like reading the wording of it on some of the cards, I wasn't quite getting it myself. But once I I've researched it a bit more I think I'll be able to get it but the only other thing that seems to have changed is um they are officially now talking about Wanderer format as well so they're saying that um, from September onwards they'll be running different types of events which is New Frontiers and the Wanderer League and the Wanderer League will have different promos as uh, different from the New Frontiers so basically Wander is from Grimm up until Lapis I'm guessing or the current thing and New Frontiers will be the most two uh, current clusters so for now it will be Alice and it will be Lapis when Lapis starts in September and uh, Wander will have their own uh, uh, leagues and promos and they do advise that they will be giving out a new PR promo for Wonder League every three months and that store managers are advised to at least hold one Wonder League every month which you know is kind of cool because it mixes it up a bit because then you know people were complaining oh all these decks are going to get rotated out you know they're going to be you know not as good anymore and blah 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 but you know I think that's encouraging because it means you're going to get different promos like for different kind of tournaments and stuff so maybe it'll help in, uh, inject a bit more life into the game also I am super jelly because the promo for the first Wonder League is a uh, revamped Grimm which is awesome and he looks amazing if I can just click on the art here so I can show you Probably can't even see it because my computer's screen is that bright. Um, is it going to work? I'm saying this now and then it's probably not going to work because I've, I've, I've clicked on it and I've said it and now I won't be able to do it. Um, da, 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 da. Is this going to work now? Please, computer, are you going to load it? Ah, here we go. Right. So, don't know if you can really see that there. You probably can't because the screen is very bright. If I do it this way, you can kind of see it a bit better. But yeah, the artwork for the new Grim. Uh, it's basically the PR Grim for Wonder League, and it has WL on the bottom to show you it's the Wonder League. It looks super amazing, and I totally want it. But the other thing is that Jewel Stones are being reprinted again. So if you didn't get any from Vingolf 2, um, which I didn't buy any of Vingolf 2, mainly because I wasn't really interested in the Valkyria Chronicles cards. I just, they didn't seem to synergize well with any other cards that we've got. They seem to only work with each other, like Squad 7 and blah, blah, blah. I really wasn't interested in it. And like, from the looks of it, you only got like maybe two copies of each Jewel Stone when ideally you want a play set, which would mean buying at least two boxes of Vingolf. And I just didn't want to waste that much money on all those cards. But by the looks of it, Jewel Stones are going to get reprinted in this uh, in the first set of uh, Lapis, which is the Curse of the Frozen Casket. And I mean, they're using, I think they're using the promo art, which I don't know if you can see that there because my thing is being too bright. But we've got that, uh, which is the Black Silence one. Um, 
I've got Blasting Waves, which will probably be mine because that's the one I use for Sylvia. You can hardly see it there because it's so bright. But they're using like the kind of promo art that's, and they're going to be, by the looks of it, they're going to be rares. So they're going to be rares in Curse of the Frozen Casket, which is very nice. I am really glad to get some new artwork for um, the Jewel Stones just because, you know, I've been kind of sick and tired of the old art for now. And they seem to be more heavily connected to the Grim Cluster than it was to the new cluster. So it's kind of nice and refreshing to see new artwork. But in terms of that, the only other thing I think that is worth noting, I'm just having another double check on the uh, page for um, Course of Well on Facebook. I think the only other thing that was really of note was that I think it was confirmed that Lapis Cluster would drop September 8th. I'm not too sure. I'm trying to look at it here and now where I think I saw it. But um, either I can't find it now or um, it's... No. I don't think I'm going to be able to find it again just to confirm what it was. But uh, I'm just having a quick look again, and I can't seem to find it. Maybe I just hallucinated that in my mind. I swear I saw that um, there was a post saying that Curse of the Frozen Casket would be coming out September uh, September 9th or 8th or something like that. I feel like it was um, at the start of the year anyway. And I'm still looking here, and no, I can't see it. I cannot see it, but, you know, at least I've had a look anyway. But um, that's really all the kind of news I wanted to discuss for Force of Will. I am going to try and, like, think up some more deck profiles for you. I also wanted to do um, a couple of different things in terms of card games, maybe looking at, like, spotlighting some of the rulers that we have already in terms of, like, what you can do in terms of viable decks with her and even exploring their characters and stuff and the story and the lore. And, you know, examining the lore itself because, you know, I love Force of Will's story. It's one of the things that drew me into it in the first place because, you know, there's an actual plot behind this card game as opposed to um, the plot being there to sell the cards, like a, like an anime or a cartoon or blah, blah, blah. But I'm really excited and I'm really um, hoping that um, we can get more people involved in this card game because I think it's really really fun and like hopefully you guys enjoy it too like most of my videos that have most views are force of will related like um i was looking back at some of the older videos and like my like my, i think my original sylvia deck profile is like over 1000 views which is kind of insane considering um i think i made that was it last year it might have been last year i made that deck profile i can't even remember but it's totally insane and considering that in the last kind of like six months we've gone from 50 subscribers up to over nearly 200 now and I, I think we are over 200 at this point which is totally amazing so thank you for the support guys you know whether you're here for the force of will whether you're here for my kind of geeky vlogs and stuff or whether you're here for my reviews and stuff I'm just great to have all of you on board and supporting this channel and you know I really enjoy making content for you guys so until next time guys I will see you all later